Hello everyone, my name is Ramat and today we're going to do the Talia Meat Guide featuring GLP and Twin Shadows. Hopefully the game will go longer than normal so that I can use Twin Shadow. <laughs> okay, I almost got hit by that. So we're going to talk about uh, summoner spells, runes, builds. I'm going for Twin Shadows this game. We're going to talk about this item. We're going to see how we can use it to properly catch people, how it helps us with roaming and also I'm going to put timestamps down into the description if I don't forget, I may forget because now the YouTube algorithm, YouTube system has that separating on chapters when you put timestamps so I think it's useful for a better viewership experience so especially if I put full games anyway I'm playing with Ignite in this context I'm against Lux you could probably get away with Ghost, uh, no Ghost, sorry Exhaust or maybe Barrier something like that what is this guy doing? Ah, if he jumped, it would have been good. Oh, anyway, I'm playing with Dark Harvest, Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Presence of Mind, Cup, the Grace, and this rune stats. I'm playing with armor generally on mid if I'm not against a, a mage that can destroy me like an assassin because, uh, well, because generally you'd, you'll take damage from the AD champions. As you can see, they have a Trindamero, Warwick, and an Ash. The only. <clears throat> The risk is when I'm getting hit by Luke's Q, because that's when the ultimate comes. So, I generally play with Exhaust in that case. I don't like her particles at all. I feel like it's hard on the eye. Anyway, uh, I'm going this game... Generally, you probably should want to go for Lost Chapter into Boots, into GLP, into Orb, into Rabadon, see if Orb does need, not need to be upgraded into Morello. But uh, for this context of the game, I'm going to go Sork Shoes, uh, sorry, Lost Chapter into, into Boots, into GLP, into straight Twin Shadows and Sork Shoes somewhere there. Uh, I think I want to try this to actually convince myself that this item is worth or not. I believe it's contextual. In some games, it might work. In most games, I think it doesn't because it sets you back on other items. You, if you go Secondary Orb, uh, sorry, if, yeah, if you go secondary orb after the GLP, you're not going to have You're going to have the magic penetration if you go twin shadows You're not going to exactly have that and what is twin shadows really? It's an item that gives slow and has a long active and I believe I missed the cannon I believe that item is strong when you play with uh, Glacial augment, but without it without glacial augment. I don't think that's a good idea because you don't really have the extra slow that Glacial Augment does. You don't even have Ingenious Hunter rune. And we're gonna get all the CS here. That's amazing. So, the discussion goes like that. It's useful probably or more useful on Glacial Champions. Glacial Augment Champions. Jesus, I am missing so much CS because I'm talking. And so, you could probably try it. You can probably find your ways about it. But if you use it then you gotta expect them to flash out or cast some spells come on come close i wanna i wanna cast <laughs> yeah anyway uh we're going to g get glp and we're going to go all in on her when we get it until then i'm just i was just focusing on the talking really and i didn't bother much i see i don't have an aggressive jungler so i mean Kazix is aggressive but needs to scale a bit and so i didn't really rush into fighting her and yeah we could uh, we could try soon to engage on her because if not she'll just poke me down but i'm trying to get this cannon first because i'm missing them so much another cool tip whenever you're having a cannon just use your small cube please just it's so much more simple to hit it and now we probably want to to try to help this guy if warwick comes so i'm going to stay around here I'm going to keep an eye on this jungler. You always have to keep an eye on your jungler because you can reach the you can reach the fight of your jungler against the enemy jungler faster than the enemy mid laner most of the time, especially because you're a Talia and you can push a lot. So yeah. Also uh, for other types of videos, by the way, that's another discussion. Um, I think I'll make one or two videos like that per week of another champion. This week I didn't do that much, but I'm interested in making a Xerath video gameplay. A guide I'm interested in making some other mid lane champions maybe I've seen you also like the under five minutes under nine minutes under four minutes videos because they are feel they are very informative and I'll probably make one of that too I don't know the champion because for the Tilia 
Tortilla, I also did it again. I'm also thinking, I'm also thinking to make, I'm also looking for a rom now, by the way, and fake roaming. Also thinking to uh, make a when to dodge guide and maybe one video about easy champions to pick up because uh, I see a lot of players going for Irelia or hard champions at start and it's really really a difficult way another video that I'm thinking is how to trap people how to create traps I have some traps that work really well wait you had ult? you ulted me? oh yeah I'm level 6 yeah sorry I was focusing too much on talking but I got ulted by the way full damage and I don't have runes I don't have runes for MR and that's all the damage she dealt right so you don't necessarily need especially if she doesn't go back for items you don't necessarily need that uh, I'm gonna miss that and don't that need that rune so yeah I'm gonna word here actually I'm gonna word deeper because that's where we passive went away and now maybe we can get something here Ah, this minion. I hate this minion. Come on. Come to this side. Come to this side. Come to this side. Okay, if I hit W here, I get the kill. I didn't. She dodged nicely. And I wanted to proc. I wanted to proc their Dark Harvest, but I don't think it will happen. But still, she ulted me <laughs> and I didn't really, didn't really care much about it. I can recall now the wave is reset. I could push one more but she will come and push it as well I don't want to risk a Warwick to, to gang me I'm gonna get the potion I'm gonna get control world okay and her ult is back up by the way it's been what 20 seconds <laughs> now nah, I know I know her cooldown is low and I, I believe that's the right way I'm not gonna miss much though I'm not gonna miss anything besides a minion and Warwick solos the Drake okay Full combo here. We can actually do now a roam. We can push. Because she backed off and we want space. We want enough space so that <coughs> she doesn't instantly push minions into my tower. But she will be back. She is back now. I'm going now towards bot. I'm gonna put a vision word here. I see Warwick on mid. They don't have any word. They do have this. And I'm also checking up on that Warwick. I don't know where Lux is should have come okay I'm, I'm going here I am so bad that would, that would have that would have been my one shot I don't know why I expected him to go for the plant it seems like he wasn't going to I aimed for the plant as it was like ah he surely goes for that but apparently not so that's on me I'm gonna get full damage here but Okay, she flashed. I'm seeing Warwick. She's getting my vision word. I'm gonna ping him for help. And probably I'm not gonna get said help, so I'm backing off. And I cannot keep going here. If I hit that combo there. <laughs> Look at that guy, come on. Ah, if I level up. Dude, if I level up there, I could have killed him, but yeah, I, maybe I can. <laughs> Do we try something risky? I could actually, I could actually ult on Brights, because that's exactly where Warwick is. What is this guy doing? Instead of helping me, he's dead. Yeah, well. So, the good thing is that we're certainly gonna get Twin Shadows, because this game is going to be long. Like, we're not... Ah, no. Like, we're not gonna win very fast, <laughs> certainly, <laughs> if we win. So I'm gonna do another full combo here. I'm gonna position myself, dodge this as best as I can, and get that. Well, flash nicely the damage from them, and Warwick ulted me, it's fine. We get the pressure on me, but I'd rather have some help from my jungler as well. He also took my vision ward. And my jungler failed the gank it's pretty much clear uh which one is the better jungler so whenever you have ult and your opponent doesn't have flash like in this case we know she doesn't have flash if you have glp you can ult on top of her glp wq combo and you're kind of guaranteed to hit it dude 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 
This might be actually actually got it. The madman. The madman. He actually got it. Oh come on. Can you not? Ah. What a nice guy, by the way. I need to dodge the queue. Yeah, it's fine. We're fine. Now I'm moving. I'm looking towards bot because they might. Cause they might wanna. Yeah. Okay, that went nice. That went really nice. And we also. I might also get the plate here, cause. We can, we have Tristana, that was a good roam, we can get another plate. Warwick is not coming, okay, he's here. Okay, he backed off, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, we did had more Q, we did had everything that we were needing to actually do right here. Trindamir also died. Yeah, we're starting to, to do good. Can you back off, please? Can you back off? Anyway, in this context now, if I had all I could have done, done what I said. Should have bought a vision world. Now the only thing that was bad is that she got a plate here for free but we won't top and we won't bot. We almost took tower there. It's I'm 20 CS behind well less because I'm gonna get this wave but don't think it like a bad thing. Whenever you roam think it like an investment right? Because that's exactly what you do. I'm let's see 13 CS behind and I'm not in gold behind because I got the plate, but in this context right here, I'm pretty sure Warwick started Drake, so I have to take this way fast and go there. I am completely sure that Warwick is at Drake right now. Yeah, he was at Drake and he backed off because he's on bot now, right? And now I have a very good opportunity here for kills to the GLP <laughs> that's the prettiest GLP that you'll ever see okay so I'm seeing I'm seeing locks exactly that's good I make her I made her back off And we got Lux as well, not the cannon though. So, just because I did some roams there, I got extremely fed, we turned the game around, and we also got kills on everyone else. Kha'Zix started to be useful after his early fails. I'm seeing Warwick, he trolled again. I'm hoping that I'm actually gonna get Twin Shadows, because this might already shape like a minus 15 surrender, so we need 700 more gold. We're actually getting two plates here, probably. Yeah, we got two plates and we're moving towards the third. I am actually getting that item. I'm gonna use it at least once or twice. Now let's do a full combo here real quick. We know that Warwick died, but it's irrelevant for me to be there. We can just move bot. And they are doing a deep dive. I'm thinking to actually surprise that Warwick, wherever he might be. Okay, I'm seeing it. Okay, so we got the kill there, and we get another kill on Trash. And I'm getting out of the queue, I tried to get out of the queue but didn't really. And we have now enough money for the uh, Twin Shadows, but it's most likely that they are going to surrender. It's most likely, so if they do, I'm gonna make some clips and usages, either in practice tool or in other context. So look, I have in 8 seconds, I have in 8 seconds GLP, right? I can just move here, cast alt, right? GLP, full combo, Q, and then we outplay. And then we outplay. Flash out. Okay. 
And so we outplayed two of them. And now Warwick as well. I don't know where Warwick is, it's not coming. I'm seeing, I have having vision on everything. I have that on top of me and I don't have, I don't see the Warwick. And so we go for Twin Shadows. I'm also going for Lucidity Boots here because I really want to get the boots to be faster. And till I get Sork Shoes, yeah, it takes a while. But still, we now reach 40% cooldown. 20 from this, 10 from this, 10 from this. We're not having Celerity, so we have Max CDR. That's one of the advantages of Twin Shadow. And we also have extra movement speed. So now we have two slows. So we, if we go bot, for example, right now, right? If we go bot, Warwick is hinting. We're casting Twin Shadows, we got it. And just we followed. He's probably very tilted. So, yeah, they. Oh my god, they surrendered. But yeah, I'm going into the practice tool, guys. Stay here. <laughs> I'm coming with practice tool usages. So here we are in the practice tool, we have the exact same items. Now I want to talk a little about this item, this Twin Shadows, because it says that slows enemies up to 5 seconds. Probably, then basically when you cast it from this distance, if you count this, it's about 2.53 seconds. So at minimum you're going to slow for 40% to for 2.5 seconds, and if you do it from far away, well, let's just position ourselves like from here. Then yeah, maybe it's going to be 5 seconds, but whenever you use this item, whenever you use it, yeah, it's, let's just calculate max distance. Cast right here and it's going to get here. Whenever you cast it, you can go after these if they don't have vision, and, so, and you can instantly do the combo. So that's what you gotta do in order to use it. And let's say you use it here and they are there, you, you use it, you go after it, you dodge the skill shots that are about to come, instant combo, right. If you want to do some other combinations like that, you can cast this item, you can try to guess if you've seen them on vision, you can cast that. So it's all it all comes down to uh, what this item offers in terms of uh, slow and movement. Like, because if you're here and you use it and then cast ult immediately, you gotta have vision, right, on them. If you don't have vision, then you use it and you can chase it and when it gets to the target you can just full combo bam also it is it should be noted that this spell e has a 27 percent based on ap in this context when you have 168 ap it has 27 uh, percent slow twin shadows has 40 and glp has 65 decaying so if you're going to rate them by how easy we're going to hit our W, we're going to hit the most easily using w, using a GLP. So this is the easiest combo. After that, this is the second easiest combo. And the hardest one is going to be just E. Because this slows champions as well, but it's kind of weak. So that's all you gotta do, guys. Whenever you want to use GLP and Twin Shadows combination, you gotta do that. I know some of you play with it. And you just cast it. You go towards the target, full combo. And then... And then you got him. Mainly, if you if you slow them first with the 40%, then you get in range to slow them with the 60%, and then you get the whole damage. If you want to play with this, obviously, because some people shouldn't and don't. Now, I GLP is kind of must for beginners, but Twin Shadows is very optional. So that's all I have to say. And I really hope you enjoyed this kind of videos. Uh, maybe it's not going to be a Talia video next time, on the next video. And next week I'm going to do at least one Talia jungle video at least one mid guide for some champion and one tutorial of other kind. So that's about it guys, I really hope you enjoyed this kind of videos and see you next time. Thank you very much for watching, you have timestamps in the description, goodbye guys.